If you've got a thirst for more bad taste, then stay with us on BBC Two and see how it's done. Next. Zone this Friday, rap has a tip for tourists. See the big bang? It's the one hell of a change you don't want it. <laughs> Vic and Bob have some tips for gardeners. Accident body crap. A simple way to utilize your body's growth potential. And the Have I Got News for You team have a tip for you about Paul Merton. Would anyone buy a wig that looks like that? <laughs> <laughs> tips for a top evening of entertainment starting Friday at 9 on BBC Two. You've seen the film, now come into the real world and witness the making of Peter Jackson's Bad Taste. Continuing BBC Two's Forbidden Weekend. The film has won international acclaim for its humour and originality, for an extraordinary individual talent, which began in childhood. Being an only child does make you uh, more imaginative, I think, because you have to create um, your own games by yourself with whatever props come to hand. I mean, you know, matchbox toys and building blocks and 
that sort of carry on. You haven't got any, anybody else to bounce off, so you you're creating it all in your own head all the time, and that I think it certainly helps sort of um, exercise the mind, if you like. It's trained your mind to um, to think of things, to be imaginative. <laughs> Bad Taste was made with great enthusiasm, but very little money. The world holds its breath for Peter Jackson's second feature and first fully professional film. Look on in horror next on BBC Two. We're heading deep into the night with Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Forbidden Weekend presents. The first film to be censored in Britain surprisingly didn't feature sex or violence. A piece of cheese took the starring role. The censors I've met in my life always look kinky to me. Today, 10% of films are cut before they reach the screen. The censor has a different perception. It's what turns him on. Now you can see the shots they left on the cutting room floor in Empire of the Censors, tomorrow at 5 past 10 and continuing Monday at 9 on BBC Two.